Hello guys and welcome to my massive fall Bath & Body Works haul. What a wonderful So I actually have three different orders to show you guys. I have a buy online pickup in store order. I also went in store for the hand soap sale. And then I also did an order online of body care when it was $4.95. So I have a ton of stuff to share with you guys. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So first things first, I have this massive body care sale haul. And I did actually share the other two portions of this haul in my last video, which was a fall decor shop with me and haul. So if you haven't seen that already, I'll link it up above, but I did just go do a big, long, like full day sprint of shopping for fall decor and I recorded it for you guys. So I'll link that up above so you can check that out. But let's get started with the $4.95 body care. So I realized once I was going through my collection, trying to pick out things for my fall project use it up that I really don't have a ton to do body care combos like I usually do. Usually I'll pair a few different um, formulas and a few different brands of body care together to make my specific little body care combo to go with the seasons for my project use it ups. So I did get a lot of body care because I don't really have you know, what I want for fall. So I'm gonna start with the most fall thing of all, and that is pumpkin swirl cake. So I did end up picking it up in the body cream. And again, this was only $4.95. So I thought this was a perfect time to pick this up. And the notes are pumpkin spice, caramel toffee, and creamy vanilla. So I do already have a pumpkin scented shower gel that I'll be using this fall. And I also already have a spray. So I just needed some sort of moisturizer. So I picked up pumpkin swirl cake. It's pumpkin spice, caramel toffee, and creamy vanilla. This one smells, I swear, just like that pumpkin loaf from Starbucks. That's what it smells like to me. It is super spicy. So that's the first item that I picked up. Super, super fall and pumpkin-y. And then an online exclusive that I picked up is Wicked Vanilla Woods in both the shower gel and the body lotion. Now I had this one last year and I really enjoyed it surprisingly enough. And I think I enjoyed it after the Halloween season was already over. So I didn't get a chance to pick up any more. So I wanted to pick up some this year, but oh, it smells so good. It's magical vanilla, glowing amberwood and enchanted pink pepper. This one is a little bit masculine, which I think it's perfect if Ryan wants to try and use it as well. But I really like this one for that like spicy pink pepper smells amazing and i really enjoyed it in the shower it's super strong and i feel like the hot water really brings out the scent super well and then i also got it in the lotion i have not yet tried it in the lotion so i'm curious to see how this will go but i really kind of got this one mostly for ryan because they actually have not been making the men's body care in lotion form since probably two years ago and i'm super sad about it because Ryan finally finished his last one and he's been asking for one. So I picked this one up really for him, but I will definitely be trying it and I probably will have it in the project, but I really like the packaging this year. It's got this like bedazzled snake on it. So I just think it's really cool. That's Wicked Vanilla Woods. And then one of my staples for an intro to fall scent is Champagne Apple and Honey. And I picked it up in both the shower gel and the body lotion. And I think the packaging this year is just super quintessential fall. I love that it's like this realistic kind of art print. I think that's so fun. So the notes on this are crisp apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine honey, and autumn woods. So if you've never spelled champagne, apple, and honey, but you're a champagne toast fan, I think you would really love it because it is kind of just a mix of like red apple, delicious red apple, and champagne toast. So it's super similar to that to me, just with, of course, the appleiness for fall. So I think it's like perfect to bring me into the still for me very warm <laughs> September and October months and I really enjoy it. So this one will be probably one of the first products that I will be putting into the project just because it is like the perfect pr transition scent. Also, I just want to say I really don't want my hair to be perceived today. I did not do it. It is in its natural just like curly wavy frizzy form and I just have it back and I tried to do something with my front bangs and it's just like not doing it for me. I know you guys usually like when I do my curly hair and I do too, but just today I'm not feeling it. You know, when you're just not feeling it, that's me. So I don't want to be perceived, thank you. Okay, last up, I did go ahead and purchase three items from Vanilla Romance without even smelling it at all. 
So that was brave of me, but it was $4.95 and I figured if I don't like it, I could just go and exchange it for something else. But that's a really good deal, especially for the moisturizing body wash. So that's the first thing that I picked up in Vanilla Romance. The notes are Fresh Cardamom, Vanilla Absolute, and Captivating Woods. So this one to me kind of just smells like vanilla bourbon. That's like exactly what it smells like. And I have vanilla bourbon left over from last year. So I'm not super confident that I'm gonna keep all of this. I mean, the packaging is gorgeous, don't get me wrong. And I probably will keep the moisturizing body wash just cause I like this formula a lot. But I also picked it up in the body wash and in the body lotion. And to me, it is not enough of a difference between this and vanilla bourbon to want to keep them. So I think I'm gonna leave these still sealed from the uh, warehouse and figure out if I like them or not by using the wash and we'll see what I think. So yeah, it's honestly super spicy, cinnamony vanilla, which I love, but it's literally just vanilla bourbon. You guys will have to let me know if you think it's any different, but to me on first sniff without having used it yet, it's smelling super similar. So yeah, we'll see about that. I also did pick it up in the mini body wash just because I had a free coupon. So this was free with my birthday reward and I'll definitely be trying this because I have a trip actually this weekend. So I'll take this with me, try it out, see what I think, but it really does just smell like vanilla bourbon. I don't know. So yeah, I'll be testing that out. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you updated. Probably on Instagram, I'll post if I like it or not. So if you're not following me already, go follow me at Hi, it's Vicky on Instagram. And okay, yeah, that's everything for the $4.95 body care sale. Now I'm gonna get into what I picked up from Bath & Body Works for a buy online pickup in store. Let's see if you can guess. It's a ghost, it's so cute. Isn't she just adorable? She or he? I don't know, should we give him a name? I don't know what we should name him. Let me know if you have a good name that you think he should be. For now, I'm gonna call him Mr. Ghosty. Maybe that'll be his name. Um, but he's $29.95 and all Halloween was 50% off last weekend. So I got him for $15 and I think he's super cute. Kind of goes really well with any sort of color scheme that I wanna do for Halloween. But I also picked up a couple Halloween decor items that were also ghosties. So if you wanna see that, remember, check out the video. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go with a ghost theme this Halloween. So. That's the first item that I picked up in store. And then since I went in for the hand soap sale, I actually already had a free reward for a free body care item, full size. So I picked up Girlfriend. Now, Girlfriend, this is the first year that it's been in body care and I'm really happy about that because I know it is definitely a fan favorite in the like candle and in the hand soap. I personally have only tried it in the hand soap before and the pocket back. So excited to try it in the body care finally. And I figured I'd pick up a shower gel cause I go through shower gels pretty quickly. So the notes on this are dark strawberries, ghostly peony and spine chilling citrus. This one is a very fruity with just a tiny bit of floral. Honestly kind of feels like it could be a spring scent but I can see how if you've used this in the candle for so many years during Halloween that this would be a Halloween scent to you. So yeah, I think it's really yummy. I'm excited to try it. I feel like the shower gel was the perfect uh, formula to pick up for myself just cause I know I don't really like um, floral scents. So I figure in the shower gel, this would be really yummy. So I'm gonna be trying this one out, very excited. And then for hand soaps, I picked up six hand soaps. I actually did leave one with my mom already. So I picked up seven technically, but I left her with white pumpkin and I kept for myself sweater weather. So it was also in the same packaging with this like leaf embossing on it, but I got sweater weather. This is sage, eucalyptus and fresh woods. This one I specifically got for Ryan or maybe for our like guest bathroom downstairs. We'll see where I put it, but I like to get sweater weather every year in either a candle or a hand soap, just cause it's a very simple crowd pleasing scent that is just quintessential fall. So that's this one. Another fall scent I picked up is pumpkin apple. Now look at this packaging and tell me that it is not so like 2015, 2013 Bath and Body Works, right? Okay. I, I thought it was just me, but if you guys agree, yeah, I think it is. It's so cute. It just makes me like super nostalgic just looking at it. So I had to pick it up and I wanted to get some sort of apple scent so I could put it out right now. So this one is Red Delicious Apples, Fall Pumpkin, and Clove Buds. Again, a very quintessential fall scent. They bring this one out every single year and they have for 
more than 10 or 15 years. Just a super simple fall pumpkin scent and it's so good. So those are the two fall scents that I got in the foaming. And then I picked up two Halloween scents in the foaming hand soap. So the first one is Vampire Blood. I love what they did with little skeleton hands and a heart. I think that's so cute. The notes are red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. I really like Vampire Blood and the hand soap in the hand sanitizer. I think it just smells super clean. I think it's like the berry-ness of it all makes it smell super clean. And then I also picked up Wicked Vanilla Woods also in the hand soap. So this one kind of correlates to the body care because it has a little snake going up the arm. That's pretty cute. The notes are Magic Vanilla, Glowing Amberwood, and Enchanted Peak Pepper. So same scents as before. This will probably be either on Ryan's sink or in one of the guest bathrooms. Just a nice one to pick up for fall. And then I picked up two cleansing gel soaps because I figured out I really like the gel soaps at my kitchen sink. So I picked up Champagne, Apple, and Honey. And I think this will be perfect to put in my kitchen sink like literally right now. Scent notes are Crisp Apple, Sparkling Champagne, and Jasmine Honey. It's the exact same scent notes as the Body Care. And yeah, just a wonderful transition into fall scent. So that'll go out first. And then I'm hoping Pumpkin Pecan Waffles I can put up for October going into November because this is going to be great for Thanksgiving. <laughs> the notes are Maple Syrup, Golden Waffles, and Pumpkin Spice. I think this is going to be so yummy in the kitchen just to smell like waffles. Although I'm imagining like me cooking chili and then having chili hands and then having pumpkin pecan waffle hands i don't know anyways i still think it's gonna be good <laughs> so that's actually the last thing that i picked up for this haul and that's everything for my fall bath and body works haul i do probably plan on getting a couple candles at the next candle sale just because i have a few on my wish list that i haven't gotten yet so I might have a little candle haul coming as well, but that's everything for the body care. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below if you've picked up anything recently. I know they've been having some really, really good sales. So let me know what you've picked up and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.